this documentary I'm, I'm trying to like to to really give people yeah. a, a sense of what is this path that um, it's mainly walked and, and, and used in living miracles and start with David Hofmeister and all the elders mm. that is really practical and it's not just um, debating some high ideas mm. and talking about the course for hours and hours no it's really like a practice very practical of each moment like being in a constant state of prayer what mm. would you have me do what would you have me do yeah yeah and like each moment and each specific situation use it to to pray really and like to choose to tune into the Holy Spirit instead of the ego so it's very practical yeah mm. yeah and that idea feels actually great about interviews and a documentary about a documentary because people don't really understand most of people like mm. what is this path like practically mm. <laughs> and now we're doing this practically this is being Yeah, nobody knows. No, only except in living miracles because I mm. I think that's where Jesus really mm. started like to really really guide in a very precise way the members of, of that community mm. and and really teach them like what is his true message, like the entire picture of mm. yes there's the metaphysics that are important to understand but then this course he says is not like by contemplation hours and hours or meditation mm. it's th through holy relationship and a constant like alignment with Jesus and let him use you like to be in a constant flow of miracles of being them through and that's when the healing really occurs yeah many many reach many many limit to come yeah I remember mm. Frances saying that in the documentary yeah. she said well <laughs> she said uh, you will reach the limit mm. you will but to go beyond it Mm. that's the purpose of reaching the limit it's not like to be stuck on it or going mm. to bed depressed it's the purpose is to reach it mm. and I think I remember I said that to Techan like guidance first it will guide you for you to see your blocks your limiting beliefs so that you become aware oh okay I have this I have this limiting belief I have this block mm. that's the first step that David always says like um, hello my name is Raphael or whatever and I have a perceptual problem or means like I have this like coming to an admission I have a problem uh, with with this or I have this limiting belief and then when you reach that it's guidance to go beyond it and the guidance usually comes in very specific ways and there's a lot of exposing mm. and sharing but then and I took so many time to understand this, like personally, so many time to understand that then there's like the function that is so important. Mm. It's so important to let the spirit working through you. Because mm. literally in, in, in each specific situation, it's an opportunity to choose in your mind the ego or or the Holy Spirit and I found that the most time I spent with the Holy Spirit the more my mind is uplifted 
and I put myself in a position where healing can truly occur. And it does say in the Course that if you are in a state of constant fear, that Jesus cannot really perform miracles through you. So yeah. Like yesterday, for me, it was a miracle mm. what was happening. Mm. And in that sense, it was like mm. clearing guilt and, and fear and blame. And apparently it was between people, but I know that de it's much more deeper. It's my relationship with God. Mm. So that's really the true healing. Mm. It's healing our relationship with God. And that's why I feel it's so important, communication, mm. that we are so much in communication because David always says that we have a communication problem with God. Mm. We don't feel His love constantly. So it's the communication problem so by training our minds to be in fully communication and not hiding and speak our thoughts with each other it's like a symbol that the spirit is using to clear our minds vertically really that's what is happening and at the end it's not really healing of personalities or healing persons like healing Raphael and healing Noriko, Kenta, Shoko, Yoko it's a healing of identity it's like mm. you're the Christ and the more you become aware of that the more I become aware of that mm. that's when the true healing occurs and yeah I do know that there was a lot of healing that happened in my mind those last years and there will still happen a lot because I don't have a healed mind but I have no idea how it truly happened I really have no idea. I cannot say like how it happened. But I know it happened. Because I don't feel like I can heal myself. I don't even know who I am truly. So how can I heal myself? I need help. Mm. And yeah, it's not a metaphor. Like we're literally being guided. Mm. There's this huge love that is constantly there, constantly there. And because our minds believe in, in duality and in perception, the spirit uses that, uses perception. So the guidance comes in very clear, clear um, situations and clear ways. Like I've been, I'm feeling like, yesterday I was feeling like very tired and then I just starting to function, like copy the hard drives, copy the files, preparing the camera, charging the batteries, but all using all of that to stay, okay, you do it, you do it through me, you do it through me, you do it through me. What would you have me do now? How many batteries? How do you want me to pack? Like literally using every detail to pray. It's like that, like every detail, everything. It's like an opportunity to pray, to say, I don't know. You show me. And then there's like in a deeper level, there's this constant communication with the Holy Spirit that is happening. And then at the end of the day, your mind is like very uplifted. And it's in the position to recognize more and more our abstract reality. And that's when the true healing occurs. When this identity confusion is healed yeah and something I found like very different from the path I was before, I don't even know if I can call it a path, but like of meditation alone and trying to find out who am I, who am I, who am I. And I think I already shared this even with, with Kenta. It was like the beauty of also being in function with other mighty companions is that through collaboration, 
there's a lot of opportunities for you to see your your true identity by seeing it in seeming others. So I, I felt that something changed in my mind before it was who am I, who am I, who am I, and being stuck many, many times. And now it's more like when I'm in function, in communication, we can be talking about very specific things, but I know at the deeper, deeper level, I have this prayer in my heart, like show me who is my sister, who is my sister, who is my brother, who is my brother. And sometimes I feel more and more and through the miracle, it, because prayers are really answered when there's like this huge desire to know who are you i want to know who you are there's like this, oh, this spiritual vision whatever we want to call it it's more like a feeling oh okay there's like this presence that starts to emanate and less and less i see you as a body although there's like the perception of the body there's like this presence very strongly that is there and when i recognize that in you there's this inner knowing that knows, oh, okay, this is who I am, actually. We're the same. So it's very specific. Okay, you believe in bodies? Let's use bodies. Okay. Who is, who is this body? Who is my sister? Who is my sister? Through communication, there's like more and more and merge that happens in mind like you believe in bodies then let's use the body as a communication device mm. he says that in the course like less and less the body will be used for pleasure and pride and more and more for communication as a communication device so it's not like denying saying oh no I'm not the body I'm not the body no okay I believe I'm the body now how can I use this to get out of <laughs> this identity with the body it's through communication just communication yeah yeah and that's why I feel I'm like so grateful for this path because I know I have a true calling even if there's a lot of resistance and I think all of you also have like this true calling like I want to wake up even if we have a split mind there's something very true we, we do want to wake up and here it is like a very specific guided course sent by the master Jesus like telling us okay just follow this and it's very specific and actually, I think it's the most joyful and glorious path that you can walk in spirituality. communication. <laughs> の肉体は精霊の力スピリットの力をこの世界に表すための道具なんだっていう感じ肉体はうんうん肉体は肉体は肉体は肉体は肉体は肉体は肉体は肉体は肉体は肉体は肉体は肉体は肉体は肉体は
And after that, she realized, she started to realize that the body is the uh, Holy Spirit use body and uh, through body to appear mm -hmm. to appear in this world the power of the spirit. So you so you device the body is the device for that. So you got a course day so no communication tool that the kai you are the Nanka Sukuga equal the Nanka Taiken to stay Rika is the Yona. So I I really realize that the course course saying the body is is a communication device and through my Experience. This is the equal. Yeah. Mm. Yes, that's with everything. Mm. It's not just like in personal sessions. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's in all the details. Yeah. It's really coming to this point where your degree of attentiveness. In a personal session. Personal session, で、そのよりその集中というか、心をそこに集中するっていうことがに同意同意していたので。きっかけとしてね。そう、this is a trigger, maybe, ah, to switch for for the switch that ah. 個人的な会話のために波へとあったんじゃなくて。インスピレーションで波へってきたからただそのただ会うってことが起こってっていうことはインスピレーションのままに話すから個人でやらないっていうレベルだから集中するんでしょうね本当その言う通りで、うん、その、うん、個人でやらないっていうのをコミットしてるから。It does not about personal interest. Yeah. But that's the thing. It's like I feel like Noriko is such like a, a channel when she's in mm. personal sessions. Yeah, and actually, yeah, it's just as Noriko said. Yeah, as channel. Yeah, mm. and and it's like literally bringing that in everything, in like even in everything, mm. all so specific mm. situations. Yeah, so that's why. So that's why. Because you feel. Yeah, because you feel so good when you are in that state of mind. Why not being always in that state of mind? Mm. And you can always. It's not yeah. just just in a personal session. Is yeah. in everything, mm -hmm. in cooking, in preparing mm -hmm. the day. In which hotel are we going uh, to sleep? And um, anything, the mm -hmm. shooting, driving, mm -hmm. every specific situation is like the opportunity for you to tune in, for you and for me and for everybody actually to tune in to that mm. beautiful. State of mind that is just listening. You're just listening when you're doing a per a personal session, and that's the same. Mm. That's what I found. It's like, yeah, it's really a constant invitation to be always because mm. it's not about what you're doing. Mm. It's not about charging batteries or, yeah, or copying data to my external hard drive. It's about how am I going to do it. Yeah, and David says a lot that. At the end, of course, this is all the paths go until the same, have the same purpose, which is being pure beingness, and it's what we are. But he says that from we are like identify with human human doers. So he says like from doing to pure being, it's too much. Like it's a big jump. So the spirit got got to. Find a way, and that is to be done through. Mm -hmm. So he says a lot, David. Like, ask, listen, follow, and the doer will be undone. なるほど。だから、yeah. その尋ねてえっとスピードに使われることによってそのヒューマンドゥア。自分がやる人っていうのがアンダーンされていくっていう。アンダーンって。えっとそのもう終わりとして終わりになるなくなるみたいな感じになっていくからだからその
泊まって訪ねて聞いて従うっていうことを絶えず繰り返すことが必要なんだってデビ,デビットは言ってるんですよね。そのヒューマンドゥアーから抜け出すために何かをやる人間という存在から抜け出すために。全部のあらゆる機会が全部もうスピリットのために。そのあらゆる機械、うんうん LC、ス,ピスピリットのために使われるための体<笑>、うん、This body is for the spirit スピリットスピリットに使ってもらうためなんですね、うんうん、Yeah, it was created by the ego、うん、like、yeah. everything in this world but the spirit can use everything in this world、うん、even the body he、うん、can use it for his purpose、うんうん体もエゴに作られたものだけどでもスピリットはその作られたものエゴによって作られたものすべてを使って使うことができるんですねそれをあの道具にして概念ではよーく知ってるの<笑>よーく知ってんので,、ね、でもね、うん、こういうね半端ないことを実際にこういう道を実際に歩むと道を知ってるだけじゃなくて道を実際に歩んでみるとそれが身に染みてわかる。ね。Many people know about this kind of thing intellectually, but、uh, to know about the past and、uh, to walk through the past is completely different.、Thing. Yeah. Yeah, and I remember I was even like sharing with Noriko about that that I can talk for. Four hours about how it feels to put my hand in your back.、Mm. I can talk four hours about that. You will feel maybe a little bit warmer in your back. <laughs> you will maybe have a feeling of relaxation, and we can talk about that. But then, when I put my hand in your back、mm. and you really have the experience, that's totally different. We can talk a lot about、mm. the smell of a flower. <laughs> <laughs> but Yeah, it's totally different of really like of smelling,、uh, having the experience of smelling the scent of the flower. So I feel that this is the gift in, in what we're doing. Having, having a scent of smelling the scent of the spirit. よくわかるその違いがわかる、うん、道を知ってるのと実際に道を歩むのと全然違って歩まなきゃわかんないってわかる歩まないとわかんないねだって今年一年それやってるもん<笑><笑>体験させられてる、ね、そういう概念は知ってたけどね概念を学ぶのと実際にその概念の通りに歩んでみるのとは全然違うね全然違うね概念を語る必要がないわけでしょ、ね、概念を語るじゃなくて私のやったことを話せばいいんだよねそうだねまだ泣くみたい<笑><笑>まだ泣くみたい<笑>まだ泣きたいもん Yeah. Still crying. Yeah. Something、uh, rising up. Yeah. yeah, please don't stop crying. Yeah. It's like、uh, I have this friend that is he's part of living community. I, I think I already said this story that Kenneth,、um, I heard him say one, once one thing that I love. He's, he said that this path is like the lazy path of enlightenment because you can just sit. And watch the healing occurs with someone else, and you feel that the healing occurs in yourself too.、Mm. So it says, like, it's the lazy path of enlightenment.、Mm. <laughs> you don't have to do anything, just watch the healing. Because when you heal, you don't heal alone. So I really like that. <laughs> <laughs>
<笑>コラボレーションしてみんなで癒され合うっていうのが怠け者の道って言えるぐらい最速なんでしょ<笑>努力なしで、ね、うんいやなんつったっけ<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑>まだ出るね。出る<笑>なんかね、聞いたらまだ泣きたいな、うん。そうだね。癒<笑>やしだね。まだ泣きたいなって。まだ泣かしてあげていいかなって聞いたらいいよって言ってた。<笑><笑>そうだね。別に泣いていいよね。<笑>うん。私も泣きたいんだったら泣かしてあげたいと思う。そうだね。<笑>うん、そんなちょっとやそっとで止まんないよ。涙は。うん、よく枯れないね。ね。ね傷と泣いてるね。横ちゃんと花探しに行ってもまだ泣いてたもんね。うん、花探しに行ってたのさっき。うん違う。三崎口でね。ああ。花拾いに行って泣き、うん、戻ってきて行けて泣き、うん、<笑>ドキュメンタリーアバウトドキュメンタリー<笑>いいね、はい、ドキュメンタリーアバウトドキュメンタリー